I wanted to end this day kind of light because I know it's been a long day. So what I figured what we do is just a little bit of story time. So I just wanted to share a little special story for me that really inspired me uh, at a time when I wasn't feeling so good and wasn't feeling so motivated so that I could come back here and get really motivated all over again. So I just wanted to start by acknowledging something, right? What we do is hard. Leadership is hard. Advocacy is hard. Being a medical student is hard. Everything we do is hard, and it's hard on us. And so one of the things that really happened to me is I got really, really, really depressed. And so it's one of the things we don't acknowledge nearly enough. We're starting to get better about it, but mental health is serious. Every single one of us is struggles because what we're going through is hard. And there's no shame in that. And for me, it got bad. So for me, I just remember, I was just questioning just about everything. I was really in a dark place trying to figure out, am I gonna sign up for all these committees next year or am I just gonna go be on my couch? You know, I just didn't know what I was gonna do with myself. I didn't know where I wanted to go. Um, so I just found myself in this dark place and I said, what's gonna get me out of it? So today I wanted to share with you just a little bit of story of something recent that happened to me uh, that really did inspire me to really get back into the swing of things. Um, I wanna throw a quick disclaimer out that uh, there's a lot of lyrics in this particular presentation from Hamilton, because uh, my parents decided to go to Hamilton while I was here. Uh, so I just get a little bit of spirit for it. So uh, all rights to Hamilton belong to His Holiness Lin-Manuel Miranda. Uh, so please don't sue me. All right, so this is my story of how I really found my motivation again after feeling helpless. Helpless. All right. So long story short, I was in this you know, depressive funk. It'd been a while, a couple of weeks. And I just, I'm in class. It's April Fool's Day, all days. We're in a death and dying lecture. So real pep talk, you know? And I'm just sitting there, every, like every day, just in my pajamas in bed, watching the lecture. I get a phone call. And uh, that phone call was just completely unexpected and really inappropriate for April Fool's Day, actually. Um, but biggest thing up there, it really did feel like my world was turning upside down. So uh, basically my phone call was coming from my little fiance and uh, it gave me a little something like this. Um, yeah. So it's April Fool's Day and I get this photo. And uh, yeah, my, uh, my fiance was down in Los Angeles visiting her parents and gives me this phone call that says, hey, we have some news. And I'm just like, oh, what's up? You know, I'm just answering the phone. You know, like, I'm just in lecture. I can't really talk much right now. Oh, oh, you don't want to hear this. Yeah, yeah, I did want to hear that. <laughs> um, so the next few days were interesting for me. Like, I don't know about you, if any of you are parents, but the first time you become a parent or you're about to, um, I can only speak for the new experience, and uh, it's a lot. Um, just does a lot to process. Your whole life is about to change. And I just really was trying to process. So. A couple days later, um, my fiance is coming back from the airport. I'm going to go pick her up. And I'm just driving down there, just really trying to figure out how I feel again. Like, I'd come out of this depressive funk, and all of a sudden I'm in a, I have no idea where I am anymore. <laughs> and this song just came into my head. So I started blasting it the whole way to the airport on repeat. Uh, also happened to be from Hamilton, thus the theme. Uh, and these are the, the lyrics that really came to me. So, you'll come of age with our young nation. We'll bleed and fight for you. We'll make it right for you. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you, and you'll blow us all away. And the one thing that really stood out to me is, I'd done a lot of different involvement over the year before. I'd done a lot of advocacy. I really tried to you know, get as involved as I could uh, and to make change, and it was frustrating. Like, as you've all experienced, working with administration has a lot of ups and downs and a lot of downs. Uh, there's a lot of things we recognize are wrong in the system that we work in and we all are constantly working to make it better and it feels like progress can be uncomfortably slow. So this song really kind of hit me hard because like not only are we advocating for, you know, future kids, <laughs> big deal, but we're also advocating for the classes that come after us. We're advocating for the leaders that come after us and for the osteopathic profession that comes after us. So, I really wanted to talk a little bit about foundations and how important is the work that we do. Um, and basically, to say, don't throw away your shot. 
what we do matters. It's gonna feel like nothing is ever gonna change, and it's gonna take years and years and years of progress uh, to get things to where we want it for our kids, or even for what we wish it would have been like when we got here. But it will get better because of you, because of all of us coming together and our voices coming together, because of the work that you guys put in is going to be the foundation for the class that comes after us. So I really wanted to share one of my favorite quotes. I know we kind of share it like at least once a year, um, but history has its eyes on you, I know. Uh, the true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit. This is one of those things that we do every single day. And when you're feeling down, when you're in that depression funk, because uh, first year, I'm so sorry, second year, it's a, um, what's a four letter word? No, sorry. Um, it's not good, it's not easy. But you will get through it. And the biggest thing is realizing that when you're in that dark place, remember what you do matters. Remember that the foundation that you're laying matters. Remember that the impact that you're going to have, it does matter. What you're doing is laying a foundation for the future. So, thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for putting on my helmet jokes. And uh, thank you all for doing your part to fight for better.